In this video, I want to talk about x minus y to the power of 5. I want to show you how to expand this formula. So, well, we have different options. One option is to have x minus y times x minus y, x minus y times x minus y times x minus y, and you multiply them all together. Or you can write it in a simpler form, like x minus y cubed times x minus y square you can also break it up to something like that so i choose the second way of doing it so we had each of them separately in other videos so you can just check it in the uh, videos video list we have so i want to write the expansion of the first term and it will be x cubed minus 3x squared y plus 3xy squared minus y cubed. <coughs> and the second term, x minus y squared, we had that one already too, so it's x squared minus 2xy plus y squared. And then we start expanding it. So I will multiply x cubed to this one, this one, and this one, and then this term, this and this and this, then this term multiplied by each of them, and finally, the last term multiplied by all terms. So at the end, we need to have 12 terms and we start simplifying them. x cubed times x squared is x to the power of 5. Here we have x cubed times negative 2xy will be negative 2x to the power of 4y plus x cubed y squared. Then I have negative 3x squared y times x squared will be negative 3x to the power of 4y. Then I have negative 3x squared y times negative 2xy will be positive 6x cubed y squared. Then I have negative 3x squared times y squared will be negative 3x squared y cubed. Then I have positive 3x cubed y squared, negative 2, it will be sorry, 6, because we have 3xy squared times negative 2xy will be negative 6x squared y cubed, and then we have plus 3xy to the power of 4, finally we have that term, negative x squared y cubed, when we multiply these two, Negative times negative 2xy is, will be positive 2xy to the power of 4. And then finally we have negative y cubed times y squared. So it will be like that. So let's basically uh, organize them. So we have x to the power of 5. Then I will have x to the power of 4y, x to the power of 4y, nothing here, yep, so it will be negative 5x to the power of 4y, then I have plus x to the power of 3y squared, as you know, the exponent of x is reducing and the exponent of y is increasing. So we have 1 here, we have 6 here, so 7 so far. We have 3 here, so it will be 10. Then, <coughs> next term will be x squared y cubed. So we have negative 3, negative 6, and negative 1, so it will be negative 10. Then I have x y to the power of 4, so I have 3x y to the power of 4, and 2, it will be 5, positive 5. And then finally we have negative y to the power of 5. So we have x to the power of 5 minus 5x to the power of 4y plus 10x cubed y squared minus 10x squared y cubed plus 5xy to the power of 4 minus y to the power of 5. 